Hello guys, welcome back. So there was lots of queries from students that how to identify a microscopic slide. So my YouTube manager came and asked to shoot a video on how to identify a microscopic slide. I told her like it's a very short video. If I have to be honest, the answer is very very simple, which you know, I know, and every medical graduate in this country or maybe probably the entire world knows that the easiest way to identify a microscopic slide is look outside the microscope, look into the label. Memorize the number and write it in the exam and get out of the exam hall. Right. I have done it. If you completed your second year, you must have done it. Or if you're going to sit for the exams, probably you must be memorizing the numbers, right? So if I was your senior, I'd have told you this is the easiest way to identify slides in a pathology exam in the pathology laboratory. But I cannot say that, right? So I'm Dr. Ranjit, your pathology faculty at PW Medit. So coming back to the topic, how do you solve a microscopic slide? How do you identify the slide in pathology? Let me break it down into simple bits and pieces so that we can understand and grab the holistic approach of diagnosing a slide. So with respect to a second year exam, the slides are very predetermined and very, very simple. I want to group them as slides which are like spotters. These spotters, I want you to remember for sure. Like for example, granuloma formation is a spotter which I expect my undergraduates to know. So even without history, I can just write identify the slide in your exam. Just a number, identify the slide. You have to make sure you identify granuloma. We have read about granuloma. We exactly know how everything is formed. Keep seeing them again and again so that you don't forget them. Or rots in your AML, acute myeloid leukemia. That's a spotter. So they will focus the or rot. Right? That's very important because it's if I give you a slide of an acute myeloid leukemia and ask you to focus or rot, you will not be able to focus. So this spotter of or rot will be pre-focused. Please don't change it. At least for the after you write, please don't change it. So the next person will find it difficult, right? So that's a spotter. I want you to remember. Cavernous hemangioma, the spotter, right? The first set of slides is called a spotters. All these spotters have been there for years together. These are a bit easier if you understand the basic concept behind them. And some of the spotters, like I said, or rot will be very much focused. So you don't get to roam around the slide and you don't get to miss the diagnosis, right? So please make sure, go and ask your table tutor and your colleagues uh, or your seniors, your teachers in your college. And also I'll be able to help you with saying which are all expected spotters in a pathology exam. I can give an example of few. Necrosis, caseous necrosis, granuloma formation, or rots, cavernous hemangioma. These are spotters which I want you to identify. That's first set, okay? The second set of diseases, it's a bit simple. I'm Like I said, I'm going to decode them so that you can easily understand and you'll be able to apply them as well. So what I'm going to do is, when you have an entire lumen in a slide, that is appendix, the microscopic slide, you have the entire lumen there, it's appendix. So only one disease, which I want to show undergraduates in appendix is acute appendicitis. Don't complicate stuff. As simple as that. If it's said it's a neutrine specimen, it's leomyoma. Because I don't give you a sample of endometrial adenocarcinoma. That's not given or taught to an undergraduate pathology exam. So go with easier topics like this is an organ. Identify the organ, that's more than enough. Because right from histology, you've been identifying organs, right? So if you're able to identify the organ and that's enough to make a diagnosis. Appendix, acute appendicitis, right? Lung, most likely caseous necrosis, granuloma formation. Because other diseases of lung, I generally don't give it for an undergraduate. Right? Like I said, your uterus, leave my mouth, right? That's my second group of slides. Third group of slides, which I feel might be sometimes a little bit confusing for you is neoplasias. So if you have gone through the lectures at PW Medit, I have given a brief overview of patterns of neoplasias. Go with the pattern, it will help you in easy way of identifying what is the probable neoplasm, right? That's the easiest way I can teach you cancer in less than 30 minutes, right? The last are the difficult ones. The difficult ones, see, I'll tell you my difficult slide. I have kept the uh, slide which took seven days for me to make a diagnosis, right? We had done n number of MC uh, markers there. So there's a slide here. This is like my art piece. I will never lose this slide. It took seven days for me to diagnose this. So, for a pathologist also, even if the person is a very, very experienced person also, they will definitely end up in having a difficulty. So whenever I find a slight difficult in my lab like this, what I do is I go for the history. I don't go and focus on what is there in the microscopy because I am not, you are not diagnosing a slide. You are diagnosing 
patient that's all to go with the history if you have a history of of fever night sweats loss of weight it's tuberculosis generalized lymphadenopathy lymphoma generalized lymphadenopathy with maybe a peripheral smear leukemia could be possible a patient with hemoptysis and a lung mass could be a cancer stomach ulcero proliferative lesion could be a carcinoma of the stomach gastric carcinoma abdomen mass mass arising from stomach could be a just stomal lesion right to so go with the patient history that is very 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 vital for a group of slides what you feel might be a bit difficult which which you cannot put it under your spotter which you cannot put it under a very well known organ based diagnosis or which doesn't come under the patterns of new right if it doesn't come under these three i want you to look at the patient look at the patient let's say that you don't have any particular history right i'll break it down even simpler let's take lung for an example i can have an acute infection i can have a chronic infection i can have genetic disorders which might not come in a slide we'll ignore that you can have cancers and autoimmune disorders that's all right acute infection will have neutrophils you know how to identify neutrophils in the alveoli if we see neutrophils right as bacterial pneumonia chronic infection or inflammation for an undergraduate i'll give a granuloma formation you know how to identify granuloma because you spot a so right granuloma formation in the lung most likely may be a granulomatous disorder of lung that's all fibrosis you know how to identify because we have made our basics perfectly fine if you have fibrosis again you think of a chronic disorder black color deposits in lung think of coal deposit anthracosis or coal workers pneumonia last but not least cancers famous adeno keratin pearl gland formation as simple as that so even if you are sent out blindly into an exam hall without giving any information just the organ system take second or two to think formulate in your mind mind maps are very very important tell okay these are the things which i'm going to look for if you know what you want to look for you will definitely see that in the slide like diagnosis is not a masterpiece i have two colors pink and blue life should be very 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 easy when there are two colors be overthink be complicate and we end up in having a misdiagnosis so that's how you're going to approach any slides put forward to you maybe from this mock exam onwards let's not look outside the microscope and let's try to look inside the microscope that learn pathology conceptually and i'm sure you will definitely ace the exam right so thank you for your patient listening and i hope from this diwali onwards you will be having flying colors outside as well as inside the microscopy and to aid your conceptual understanding of pathology as well as medicine we have a diwali offer you can click on the link below to get the best use of the offer you have to 62% discount on the medical plans and let's learn pathology and medicine together see you soon in the next video till then bye bye from dr ranjit